A few people have asked me recently, what are the bare minimum things that you need to have in your kitchen to be able to cook? Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to Tasty Thursday. Normally we do a recipe. This week we're actually talking tools of the trade. This, with these tools, you absolutely can make almost anything basic that you want. You gotta have a good knife. You want it to feel good in your hand. You want it to have the weight that you want. Some people like heavier, some people like lighter. You can get them at every price point under the sun. Take them out, feel them, feel what it feels like if you were going to be chopping. But you gotta have a knife because you can chop and carve and do all kinds of things with a good knife. I need a cutting board. You can use wood, you can use plastic. It all depends on what you like. I prefer wood, particularly for vegetables. A reasonable size saucepan. I think it's a five quart. Good size, extra basic pan. You need a skillet. You need something in which to fry and saute things in. I love cast iron. It's not good for everything, but, and this doesn't have to be what you have, but your grandmother might have one of these she's ready to give to you. I like this size. I've got a family of four that I'm cooking for. If you're just one person, you can get something smaller. Frying pan, you gotta have a bowl. You can use this to mix things in. You can use this to marinate things in. You can use this to make salad. This can be your salad bowl. And then in terms of the other tools that you need, you need a wooden spoon. This is what you can stir with, you can mix with, you can scoop things out with. I love tongs. There are people who don't love tongs. I love tongs. I particularly love these that are pinchable. You need some kind of a spatula. I would watch out. There's some of these that you can get that are really flimsy. I like this. It's a plastic one, so it doesn't, if you have a nonstick skillet, um, even though that cast iron is not nonstick, this doesn't flop. Some of them are so floppy, they're almost useless. You go to turn something over and the whole thing just bends. What's the point of that? Not very much of one. Want to know what the next level is? Kind of tier two, if you want to get into baking and roasting and some specialty things, drop your email down below and I will be happy to send you your own personal private video just on what I consider the tier two tools. And then obviously you gotta have dishes and things to eat off of. But in terms of cooking, this is what you're dealing with. You've got a knife and a cutting board. You've got a wooden spoon, a pair of tongs, a spatula, a nice skillet, about a six, five to six quart saucepan, and a bowl. And that's it. Nothing to it. Very simple. You don't have to go to Williams Sonoma or Crate and Barrel and buy out the whole store, even though I'm sure they would love it if you did. Happy, happy Tasty Thursday. If you like what you've seen, press like, tag a friend you think you should see it, share it with somebody who loves cooking and wants to know what some of the basics are or doesn't love cooking yet, but wants to get into cooking. And don't forget to subscribe. There will be another something amazing, probably a recipe, next Thursday, just like there has been every single Thursday for the past four years. Have you seen them all yet? I hope you have the most amazing week. out and I can leave them in the I hate the ones that just stay like this in the drawer they drive me bonkers